Have you ever been outside hiking and seen an orange butterfly with black lacing on the wings and white spots? Well, you've probably seen a monarch butterfly. Monarch butterflies are similar to other butterflies, how they start out, they're eggs, and then when they hatch, they're caterpillars and larvae, and they make chrysalises, and a few months later, they emerge from them and become butterflies. However, monarch butterflies are known for one special migration that they do once a year. They travel all the way from Canada and the U.S. down to Mexico, and it can be up to 3,000 miles. Monarch butterflies lay their eggs on a specific type of plant called milkweed. Monarch butterflies only lay their eggs on a few different types of milkweed, even though there are many types. Milkweed actually has something in, in it called cardiac glycosides, which are toxic to humans in larger quantities, and but in small quantities they can be okay. Monarch butterflies eat the milkweed, um, and it makes them a little bit poisonous. So when animals eat monarch butterflies and they get sick or whatever the effects are from the poison, they'll know not to make not to make the same mistake twice. As I said earlier, monarch butterflies lay their eggs on milkweed. And the caterpillars or larvae that come out of those eggs feed on the milkweed until they're ready to make their chrysalis and emerge out and become a butterfly and then start their long migration. However, monarch butterflies have fallen into a predicament. There is a new type of milkweed called tropical milkweed and ever since it exploded in popularity because of its bright colors and how quick it grows, monarch butterflies population has been decreasing. So you might be thinking, well, tropical milkweed looks nice, it grows quick and it's milkweed, the only type of plant that monarchs actually use. So isn't it good? Well, the truth is, the best type of milkweed for the monarchs is actually native California milkweed. One reason tropical milkweed is not very good for monarch butterflies is because its level in cardiac glycosides are much higher than the milkweed that monarch butterflies are used to. Cardiac glycosides are actually a big part of monarch butterflies diet, but in moderation. And tropical milkweed has a lot of it, and it can actually kill the, the butterflies. As the monarch butterflies' larvae or caterpillars ingest the OE, they, it won't just die right away, and it might actually become a butterfly, but it might have a hard time coming out of the chrysalis, and there are many other problems that can happen. The monarch can have bumps on them, and it, can, it, might, it might die on the way to the migration. As I said earlier, tropical milkweed blooms all year or is perennial. When monarch butterflies see this milkweed in bloom, they think it's okay to lay their eggs and they start laying the eggs when they should be migrating. I know monarch butterflies dying from tropical milkweed is sad, but unfortunately it's happening. And there is one huge way that you can help. Please plant more California narrow leaf milkweed in your backyards make a, and make a little bit of a space for them because it's really helping the monarch. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by the Art and Wilderness Institute.